welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tag video. You you know I love to do my makeup videos. They're my favorite videos to do, but my makeup is still in boxes. I have not done the tables yet, but I am going out to get the paint today. We're going into the city. We used to live in the city, now we don't. So now we have to like make trips to go to the city. I'm going to get the paint today, so Tuesday's video should, should be a makeup video. And I'm really happy about that. So in the meantime, thank goodness my friend Naomi Foyette here on YouTube, she tagged me in this tag, thank goodness, because I really didn't know what I was going to post for today. Because <laughs> all my makeup's still packed up. So thank you Naomi for saving my butt. Uh, well right now I am wearing, it's, this is actually a dress from Meyer. Uh, my hair is just ridiculous. I'm not going to stand up and show it to you, but it's just... Uh, quarter sleeve, florally, and I'm wearing pajama pants underneath of it, <laughs> and flip flops. Yes, I have been in love. I am married, so I am in love with my husband. Yes, I have. I mean, who hasn't really? I am five foot five inches. At least that's what all the doctors always say. Like, you know, when you go to the doctor and they take your height and stuff, they always say I'm five five. But my driver's license says I'm five four. So, which one is correct? I, I don't know. No tattoos. Yes, I have my ears pierced, and that is it. I don't know what that is. Yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is my favorite show? You guys, I have way too many favorite shows. I love a lot of reality television. P.S. One of my breakups was because the guy I was dating said that I liked reality TV too much and he couldn't take it. <laughs> I love Survivor. I'm a diehard Survivor fan. I love The Bachelor, Bachelorette. I love Once Upon a Time. I love The Voice. I love Family Guy, Parks and Recreation, The Office. love The Office. Um, I mean just like, we love so, so many shows, it's super hard to choose one, so. I don't, I'm not really a band type person, I, unless this question can also mean like, who's your favorite singer, because I like like solo artists a little bit better. My favorite all time singer is Paul Nutini, he's Scottish. Paul Nutini, Gavin DeGraw. Um, as far as a band goes, I was really into Panic at the Disco when I was in high school. They still do music sometimes and it's pretty sweet. I love Childish Gambino. I'm a huge Nick Jonas fan. I know I'm missing people that I am in love with, so those are just some off the top of my head. I miss living in the city. Uh, I guess right now my favorite song would probably have to be, um, there's this Ed Sheeran song that my friend Brianna showed me, and it's old, but it's called You Need Me, I Don't Need You or something. It is so catchy, Ed Sheeran like raps in it, it's so good. I'm 23. I'm an Aquarius. I don't know, I look for a lot of different qualities, but the most important thing to me is that you have to be silly. Because, no, you can't be with me if you're not silly. Because 90% of my life is silliness, so... I guess that would be the, one of the most important qualities. Like, if I was ever to get a tattoo, I would get something from that's like Disney related, and I would have it say, never grow up. Because like I said with, my, with the last question, I'm all about being silly. I may not come off that way. I'm not even sure if I come off that way on camera or not, you know, for beauty videos and stuff. But I love just being goofy and silly. Believe that no matter how old you get, you should just keep a part of your childhood or a part of, just be silly, you know, kind of like a kid. Um, because you can't get through life's hard moments if you're taking things too seriously. Hence why I love shows like Family Guy. A lot of people don't like it because it's crude and they touch on a lot of sensitive subjects and kind of make fun, but I feel like you kind of need to do that today. Otherwise, you're just not going to make it through without feeling bad. <laughs> I don't know. I have a lot of different ones for this, too. These questions are hard. My favorite actor, uh, well, I mean, I have to say Orlando Bloom, even though he hasn't done a lot of recent stuff. As a teenage girl, 
and all you teenage girls out there watching this, you probably can relate. You there's always one celebrity who was like as a teenager or a preteen, you were just like so in love with and you like wanted them and you had like posters all over your wall and you just like thought they were gonna be your husband someday. <laughs> Anyways, that was Orlando Bloom was that for me. Uh, ever since I saw him in Pirates of the Caribbean, the very first one, I remember I was in middle school. Oh gosh, it's crazy that it was that long ago. But I just love me some Will Turner for an actress. I really like Emma Stone. I like three colors a lot. It kind of shifts back and forth depending on my mood. I really like orange. My um, That was my favorite color growing up as a kid. I just love the color orange. My wedding hat was, my wedding colors were gray, white, and orange. So the pop of color was orange. Um, but I also like green and I also like purple. Both. You need both because there are times in your life where it gets loud and crazy and there are times in your life when you need to be calm and quiet, so. I just like, literally, I don't go anywhere. I just go to a place where I know I won't be bothered within my house. <laughs> sometimes that's the bedroom, sometimes it's not. Um, just somewhere, and I don't leave the house though when I'm sad. Depends. Is it a shaving shower? If I shave in the shower, it takes me significantly longer. I don't shave every time I shower, so... Um, but just a regular shower only takes me about like 10 minutes, maybe even less than that. But if I'm shaving, I'm not even going to try to calculate that because it's going to be depressing. Probably like 40 to 45 minutes because my makeup definitely takes the longest. And I'm one of those people who doesn't really set out outfits the night before or anything. And I will like <laughs> try out a bunch of stuff, throw it down. That's why my room is always a mess because I just go through my whole closet every time I want to pick out an outfit. Call me crazy. I did throw a fork at my brother one time. Does that count as a physical fight? He punched me really hard in the back. I have no clue what we were fighting about, but he, like, this punched me really hard in the back while I was eating my fettuccine. I remember I was eating fettuccine Alfredo. I remember this specifically, and I, but I don't remember what the fight was about. But I remember I was eating fettuccine, and he punched me, and I got mad, and I threw my fettuccine fork at him. So, I'm pretty hardcore. We're all good now, though. Don't worry. <laughs> I really like it when a guy is funny, and like when he doesn't get embarrassed really easy. I like that a lot. I hate it when somebody's selfish. If you're selfish and you can't give your time, especially your time to somebody else, that really, really gets on my nerves. And I just, that's in relationships and just friendships in general. It's just not gonna fly with me if you're selfish at all. I had all this equipment because I'm a photographer and this just filming and editing in general was actually, to be honest, what really got me interested in it. And then I just really liked makeup and I wanted to be better at it. And I'm the type of person who, if I want to get better at something, I'm going to throw myself into the, you know, the ringer and I'm going to make myself get better at it. I thought, what better way to learn than to put yourself doing makeup terribly on YouTube to have other people judge you for it. <sighs> That's definitely the way to do it. All that aside, I have gotten better. I'm still not good, but I've gotten better. I get paranoid all the time that something's going to happen to my husband or my dog, even my future family. I don't even have kids yet and sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, what happens if I have one, when we have a kid and this happens and this happens. I'm also deathly afraid of um, needles. I don't like needles, although I used to donate plasma, so there's that. And I also do not like, Hugh Laurie scares the crap out of me. It, um, don't ask me why, he looks like a living skeleton and I can't look at him. We were watching an episode of Family Guy, okay? I cried during an episode of Family Guy. I cry at movies pretty easy. I don't cry for a lot of things, but some things I do, just weird things. I don't know, but it was the episode where Brian dies, the dog dies like for real is newer episode and like the family is like holding each other like they're like comforting each other and crying and I started crying just like two days ago because the reason why is because I just not because you know I was sad that Brian had died because I'd seen the episode 
about a million times and I know that he comes back spoiler alert <laughs> but it's just like I was just like picturing myself in that situation with with in my family if you know whenever Theo does die and I just got a little teary-eyed uh, just a few like a, maybe an hour ago when my husband called me from work well my name my first name is Danielle my YouTube name is Daniela Renee Renee is my middle name, but the reason why I had it be Daniela Renee instead of Danielle Renee is because I have a photography business, and the photography business is Daniela Renee Photography, and so I just kind of wanted it to match, and it's just, I just wanted it to match, but the reason why it's an A instead of an E is because in high school I had a choir teacher. Uh, she was the greatest teacher I ever had, and she always called me Daniela. She just, that's something, I don't know why she did, but she just did. And so it just kind of stuck, and so I just... I don't read books. I was reading The Lamb by Christopher Moore, but I got through like the first four chapters and kind of stopped. Sorry. I was watching this new Netflix original called Wet Hot American Summer. It's got like a bunch of comedic stars in it. It's really, like, ridiculous, but I don't know. I don't know what I think about it yet. I talked to Ryan, my husband, on the phone a couple of minutes ago when he called. The last person I texted was my husband. I want to show you what he texted me, though. He texted me this picture. I love a ton of foods, too. Like, tons. I love Mexican. Love burritos. I love pulled pork sandwiches, pulled pork burritos. I love Indian food. I love Greek food. I just, I just love food. Um, top places I want to visit: Scotland or Ireland. Oh my gosh, I would so love to go to one of those places. Um, I think it'd be cool to go to New Zealand also to like see where they film Lord of the Rings because I'm a huge Lord of the Rings geek and Greece because I don't know pictures always look so nice <laughs> there was a huge tornado thunderstorm thing happening and we went to the grocery store <laughs> on my husband yes my husband this morning I think, yeah, I think the last person to insult me was my husband. We were watching Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol last night, uh, right before bed. Actually, we were in our bed watching Ghost Protocol, and I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention, really, and we were trying to watch it in preparation for the new Mission Impossible. He just insulted me for having my computer out, for watching movies the wrong way. <laughs> what can I say? I like to multitask. I like grape flavored fruity stuff. I don't know if that answers the question. I don't play any instruments really well. I can read sheet music for a bunch of different instruments. I have a flute, a guitar, um, an acoustic guitar, an electric guitar, a bass guitar, and a keyboard. So I can play parts of all of those things. I don't play any of them really well though. I love earrings. I love earrings. If I had to guess, it would probably have to been soccer. I used to play soccer with my husband and some of his friends. Um, last night I got my I had my acoustic guitar out actually, and I was um, playing some songs on it, singing a bunch of ones. I don't remember which one I ended on. I think it was a childish Gambino song. I don't have one. I usually hear the pickup lines. <laughs> Does my dad count? <laughs> he took me to Lowe's the other day to get some stuff I needed from my house and he showed me a bunch of his Weezer CDs. And I'm not going to tag anybody because everybody that I have would have tagged I know has already done this. So this is just to have be out there in the world. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make a video on Tuesday and hopefully 
I can announce a giveaway, but I'm not going to do it until I reach that 400 subscriber mark. Subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Give this video a thumbs up for randomness. And I'll see you guys in my next video on Tuesday. Bye!